Good morning, everybody. My name is Paul Stapley. I'm a professor in sensory motor neuroscience, uh, but my main role is uh, at the moment is Associate Dean International. So I'm just gonna come online today and give you a few insights into how some of us staff are working from home and how we've embraced this transition from real life academic activity at the University of Wollongong to essentially sitting at home and sitting and standing and walking around and trying to organize our day around uh, remote work. I miss being able to get up and walk around and go to the coffee shop, catch up with people in a different way uh, than we would normally sitting at a desk. I miss my colleagues in the faculty. I have a fantastic bunch of colleagues. The other main thing I've got to be honest that I'm missing is the swimming pool at UniActive. I generally use a swimming pool every day. So uh, yeah, the swimming pool I've got to admit is I'm missing it quite a bit. I brought my computer home, it's a laptop. I'm lucky enough to have an external screen, which many of you may not. Uh, this is my setup. So it's just a basic desk table lamp, I've spread out some of my papers here. I think the biggest adjustment is has been um, technology. Make sure everything's running. I'm sure that a lot of you as students, you're familiar with using Moodle, uh, Echo 360, a lot of the academics obviously will be using that platform, that technology and other technologies to, to communicate with you uh, and to deliver the content. So make sure you're across um, all those pieces of technology before we get going. The first appointment, WebEx appointment I have this morning, actually at Zoom, is with uh, a student that I'm help, helping to supervise. On the screen here, we have Yingve, who's a Norwegian international student. Hello. Yingve there, he's uh, a student in mechatronic engineering. And Associate Professor David Sterling, who's not actually on the beach. That's his background, which is fantastic and makes us smile each time. Uh, and we're doing some work together on the design and testing of a robotic exoskeleton. I think coming out the other side of this, it's gonna teach you to be organized. It's gonna teach you maybe some tech that you didn't know before. Uh, it's gonna teach you uh, communication, um, communication skills that you're gonna need. I think all these things are really valuable in our everyday life now and there's definitely some positives that are coming out of this, this mode of remote learning. First of all, I'd like to say that I think this is a unique uh, occurrence. Everybody knows that. This is a, some have called it a one in a hundred year occurrence. The University of Wollongong have a fantastic range of people that uh, across academics, professional and support staff uh, that have put a hell of a load of effort into uh, getting the remote learning to the point that it's at. Um, I'm not saying that it won't have small teething problems, but we have some incredibly skilled people at University of Wollongong that have gone above and beyond what they normally do in their everyday workload. So rest assured that people are very student-centric. We're worried about your health and your well-being. We're worried about your learning. We're worried about um, your progression. And all these things are discussed on a daily basis and communicated to you through the Chief Operating Officer. So please, uh, if you need to access support services, all that information is in the frequently asked questions on the website. Please do so. Don't be afraid to ask. There's people at the university just waiting to reply uh, and rest assured that we're all uh, rooting for you as students and we'll see you at the other end. Bye.